In the meantime, President Muhammad Buhari says the sacrifices of the officers who lost their lives in the Kaduna plane crash will never be forgotten. These were the words of the president in a telephone conversation on Sunday evening with Mrs. Fatih Ibrahim Atahiru, wife of the late chief of army staff and the spouses of the other deceased officers. The president described the late chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, as an outstanding soldier and an institution builder who fought valiantly for Nigeria until he took his last breath. He encouraged the grieving spouses to take solace in the surge of extraordinary feelings of emotions across regions, religions, and tribes all over the country in appreciation of their sacrifices. The president has given directives to the defense headquarters and the Ministry of Defense to do everything possible to provide comfort for the bereaved families. And also barely 24 hours after the burial of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, Nigeria's First Lady Aisha Buhari, moments ago in company of her children, paid a condolence visit to the family of the late Chief of Army Staff. News sources learned that they were received by the widow of the three-star general and their immediate family. Mrs. Buhari prayed for the repose of the souls of all those who lost their lives in the fatal plane crash. Mrs. Atahiru Ibrahim, on her part, thanked the First Lady for her visit and love shown to her family. Also in her entourage were the Minister of Women Affairs, the APC Women Representative, the Director General National Center for Women Development, and other associates.